it's what are we what are we doing right now we're flying the american spirit one of the superior airlines <laughs> <laughs> where if the bags are too heavy the plane will crash that's all and that's it we'll see all right, we'll see you in gonna... las vegas all right here we are city of sins baby we're gonna go do some <laughs> sinning we're gonna do every generic west coast thing we're gonna today. go to in and out we're gonna go first. in and out that's the only that's the only generic west coast thing bag is just coming along nicely camping the definition of it we are setting our alarms to wake up at 5 15 5 15 a.m 5 a.m so that we can catch the shuttle and go in to zion it's gonna be exciting There it is, Angel's Landing. Nicole got a new hat. <laughs> Hello. It's just, you can't tell the scale of these walls from the GoPro. I hope I can make it to the top. That's Angel's Landing. Will Nicole's We're headed up there. make it up? Find out. <laughs> Find out. In an hour and a half. <laughs> I'm gonna head back down. Okay. Here, you know. You what? guys can go past me. Yep, go right ahead. <laughs> Such a good job. The reassurance. Safety, cool. You got it, just keep holding on to the chains.
<laughs> oh shit. <laughs> Oh, it's three on my three here. It's, yeah, all those section right here of Angel's Landing, made it, the view is incredible, see the Cairns down there, <laughs> amazing, it was definitely worth, worth every second of it, some parts of that trail on the way up there were really sketchy, 
not worth it. <laughs> we didn't rehearse anything. I just turned on the GoPro. This dude made it. We did it. He made it. We made it. I didn't. He we did. Nicole was there in spirit. Mm -hmm. We made it to the top of Angel's Landing together. Yeah. One of us in physical form. The other in mm, emotional form. But we did it. Now we're at our Airbnb. And squirrels ate our hot dog buns. We're gonna have some wine. We're gonna have some wine. And we're gonna make a fire. We bought firewood. All right, here we are in the Cathedral Wash Trail in Glen Canyon still. It's just on the other side of Glen Canyon. We had to drive like 45 minutes around, really. This is what it looks like. It's walking through a slot canyon a couple feet past where I ended that first video, but check this out. This is cool. I wonder if this is the little down climb section that they were talking about. Looks like you kind of got to be careful when you do it. Yeah, that must not have been it. The description of this trail said that there were some people that struggled with the down climb portion of it, and that's why it was rated hard, even though it's like there's no elevation and it's relatively short. So we must be coming up on the hard part. Looks like you could walk up there, but eventually you'd have to jump down. This is probably the smart way to go. <laughs> Why do you videotape me struggling with my bad ankle? <laughs> this is the right way to do this portion. You got it. <laughs> <laughs> Super careful. I do think you took the long way, but it's the safe way. So Nicole and I are probably another 10 minutes in. And we thought that a first part was the down climb, but we expected more and I think this is what they were referring to. So this is probably about a 30 or 40 foot drop, but the description said to go along to the right and it'd be an easier way to step down. That's only about a five foot drop. So that's what you see Nicole doing. People did a little step right here. Oh, really? They made one, but it looks very, um... It's funny because as we were walking up to this part of the trail, people kept saying, there's going to be a lot of decisions ahead, and you might have to backtrack and try again. But eventually you'll find the right way. So we sat here and we thought about it for a little while, and this is what we came up with. Yeah, and it looks like we're going to have to use our hands for this. Just down climb from here. Yeah, so we've reached the bottom of the canyon. It was a bit of a struggle, but we made it. How was that down climb, though? Uh, terrifying. Terrifying? Yeah. Well, no, it was a tough down climb, but now we're at the bottom and I think this is where it ends. We just keep going and it's flat. I didn't think I was going to get past that one part. We did it. We got to the bottom. We just passed a guy and he said that there's another probably quarter of the trail left. And he said there's one more part where you got to down climb, but it's not nearly as bad as what we just did. It's a short hike, but it's a lot of scrambling. Feeling like a dream and... in my future. <laughs> It looks like this is the part he was referring to. So I get up on this rock. One more part. So the theme of this hike 
is you always choose the wrong way to go the first time and then you figure it out while you're already on the wrong path. I see tra tracks, so I think we're on the right path. Yeah. And I say that not from our own personal experience, but from everyone else's. The only way that we've been so successful on this hike is because everyone else has made the mistakes that we would have, and we've simply watched them. So we're doing pretty good. Pretty good, and it looks like we're getting to the dark part now. This is so cool. We'll just continuously go deeper, too. Like we thought that was the end of it, and it just keeps going. So we just traverse this weird little like ledge or we like shimmying in our feet it was weird but it was cool because it opened up to this super wide canyon it's probably the widest that it's been and there's a lot of overhang so it's shaded there's an awesome breeze so we're at what we think is the bottom because I can't imagine it going much deeper than this and we're looking at this wall and it's massive. Like, it looks like a quarry wall. I was telling Nicole, it looks like that so somebody was like cutting out chunks of rock. It's so clear where the divide is between the layers of the earth. Nicole has decided to attempt to boulder this rock despite her sprained ankle. If you move your hand a little up, a little closer, that one's a good one. I have a pinch. <laughs> nice. That's it. Okay, for real this time, <laughs> I think it's safe to say we've reached the true bottom of the hike. Supposedly 437 feet. That looks about right to me. And at the end, the reward, the river that runs through Glen Canyon. Still water. It's amazing. back up. A lot of the climbing has been easier than the down climbing was. Can't complain. Can't complain. Nicole's ankle is actually killing it. Doing pretty well. For having sprained it two weeks ago. <laughs> I mean, what more could you ask for? Where's Nicole? Hi, 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 hi. Climbing up. We did it. We're out.
driving to Phoenix. We're looking at real cacti. Yeah, oh course, shit, there's, there's, there's none of there's them. Literally yeah, there's, none. there's none. Oh, there's some up on the hill right there. Oh, wait, that no. wasn't different. There's a couple. Anyway, Nicole's afraid of them because they look like people. <laughs> look, look, look how scary that is! <laughs> <laughs> Why do they look like that? Oh man, you're like um, that girl who was afraid of tumbleweeds in that video. Oh my god, oh my god baby! It's okay. Baby, it's not okay! Oh no! <laughs> oh no, Nicole! What What's going on over here? This is what our Airbnb looks like for the weekend. The person that owns this house used to be the mayor of Tempe, Arizona. That's our room right up there. Yeah, check this out. This is the shower. Uh, look at what the back door here looks out over. Hey guys, what is up? It's Nicole Trevor, and we're here stuck at the airport. 